In this video, I'll show you how to make a plan for daily shipments, knowing only the total monthly demand. We'll consider a supply chain in Norway, with the distribution center supplying 11 customers with 11 petroleum products. Delivery can be made by three means of transportation, rail, tanker and oil products pipelines. The purpose of the optimization in this video is to organize the schedule of petroleum shipments from the distribution center in a way that satisfies customer demand without going beyond the boundaries of physical restrictions. Let's check out the scenario data. The distribution center is represented using the following objects. Trestle 1, Trestle 2, Trestle 3. Here we define the trestles throughput and products distribution by rail. Port defines the port throughput and product distribution by tanker. MPPL1 and MPPL2 define pipeline throughput and products distribution by the corresponding transport and DC. In the product storages table, we define the plan of certification of oil products per day. Maximum capacity for each product is determined in toll for the above objects. As the example solves the problem of finding the optimal daily shipment schedule, we need to define every period being equal to one day. Since we know only total demand, we need to represent customers as sites. Specify their demand as min stock and max stock for the last period and define the product selling price as a negative carrying cost. As the shipment is tied to a specific vehicle, the customer name is determined not only by the sequence number but also by the vehicle type with which the delivery is carried out. The model describes the paths and flows between the objects in accordance with these limitations. Now that all the data is complete, let's run the experiment and analyze the results. Here you can see the validation window. Validation is performed automatically once you launch an experiment. It checks the current supply chain scenario for data inconsistency and shows the found issues in the corresponding view. The warning occurred because we set the product selling price as a negative carrying cost. The result options table depicts the best set of network nodes, profit and flows amount. The results are available in the dashboard in the form of statistics. Let's analyze a more detailed statistic. Product flows shows the detailed statistics on all the flows of the supply chain within the specified period of time. As you can see, no penalties were paid, which means that we did not violate throughput limitations. Storage by product shows detailed statistics on the number of products that are in stock at the end of the period. As you can see, no penalties were paid, which means that we did not violate DC capacity and satisfied customer demand. Here we can also check the shipment schedule. For example, let's filter the table by customer 2. As you can see, we satisfied his total demand for product 6. All the final statistics are illustrated in the overall stats table. This is how network optimization in any logistics allows you to find the optimal daily shipment schedule. Thank you for watching this video. If you wish to use any logistics to solve your supply chain challenges, please feel free to contact us. See you next time, and meanwhile, don't forget to click all the buttons below.